so I, I dropped out of high school, but you know, I, I dropped out in like kind of a bonehead moment. Like I dropped out like two weeks left of high school. And I was, and um, there was like one final test I had to take and I just didn't want to take it. Like, I just, I, I was like, <laughs> I didn't like the teacher. I was like, I'm not taking this test. Were you a good student? Uh, I was okay. I was a stubborn student. Like I was like, I don't know what was wrong with me, man. Honestly, like when I think of myself back then, uh, like I was a stubborn student. I was a stubborn athlete. Like I was really good at sports, but I didn't show up to practice. Like, I don't know. What, I what was, were you doing otherwise? I, I, I just wanted to get out of that world and start a business. Like that's all I ever wanted. I wanted to start my, like I wanted to own a business is what I wanted to do. And I had this idea and this vision. You know, I was, I was going to high school in the late 90s. Cell phones were becoming popular. Mm -hmm. People were buying cell phones and uh, cell phones were, uh, <clears throat> had become a reasonable price, like a price, where, a price point where someone mm -hmm. that wasn't super rich and driving a Ferrari could afford. And, um, you know, I think Nokia's, you know, got, Nokia phones had come out and like they broke the, $200 price point. And I was like, dude, all my friends are going to buy cell phones soon and they're going to end up with a phone number. I want to establish everyone's phone numbers. I want to get them all cell phones. I want to be the guy. I want to be the plug for cell phones because, and then, so I went to, um, at that time it was Pacific Bell Wireless that turned into Singular and now it's become AT&T. And I pretty much did a deal with them. I said, Hey, I'm going to sign up hundreds of people in Orange County to, for cell phone service. Um, I want a commission for every single person and I want a percentage of the bill. How do they it, trust you though? Cause you must be like 17, barely turning. No, I was 18. I was, yeah, I was, I was 18. I was a little older. I've always come off as like kind of a genuine guy. Like, you know, I always, you know, so I, I, someone, someone trusted me. I, I don't really remember. Um, um, one thing I do do remember though, I never got the deal direct. So they were giving out licenses for like people to open up cell phone stores. I never got a deal direct. So I actually worked underneath someone else. Mm -hmm. um, so I was a, um, th th there's authorized dealers, then there were sub dealers. So I worked underneath this other guy that took like, um, you know, he, he actually took care of me. He almost like passed through the entire mm -hmm. commission. So, um, so I worked underneath him and um, eventually to a point where I ended up going direct with DirecTV, or I'm sorry, with, with at and And then later on, I took the same model to DirecTV and I said, Hey, like, this is what I do for at and right now. I call it at and because that's what it is now. Yeah. Back then it was called Singular. Um, but, um, and then I, yeah, pretty much started doing the same thing with DirecTV. DirecTV said, Hey, like, we want to do more with you. Cause I was coming up with all these ideas, like, like my team, which my team was me and my brother, like, you know, and, and, you know, and one other guy, Aaron Mathis that works with us. Um, you know, we, we came up with like, you know, one of the first things we came up with, we went to the, uh, U S postal office and we said, Hey, what if we put like flyers in, uh, inside the envelopes when someone moves, when they're doing mail forwarding and we'll pay for the envelopes. We're not going to pay for that, but we'll pay for the envelopes. So we'll take that expense of the envelopes off your plate. But when someone moves, we want a flyer in there. Now, now you get it all the time. It's like when you move, you get like alarm service, local landscaping and all that stuff. But we were the first people to ever do that with direct TV. Cause that's one of the first things people do when they move, they turn on electricity, water, gas, television service. Yep. That's interesting because nowadays I feel like the landscape is completely different. Like if I if I came up with some way to improve Amazon or something like that, I can't just like go and start working for them as a contractor or something like that or have a, some affiliate. I guess I could do it with like Amazon affiliates and stuff like that. Yeah. But I feel like it's it's just different. It's more detached. Well, I mean, the internet's different because now you have a lot of competition because almost anyone could build an Amazon store, or could create a brand on Instagram or TikTok or Twitter or whatever. Um, but now it's more about like, what are you doing to really stand out more? Um, but yeah, I mean, like you guys, for instance, like think about it, like you guys stand out far more than most podcasters, you know, it's like you guys are obviously doing something different. So it's just the internet's really changed things. You know, back then this is, this is like the internet first came out, but we're talking about web one, you know, like, you know, this is like the websites that were relevant. I don't like, I don't even know if Google was out yet or Google had just come out. Like, you know, I'm talking about like, Yahoo, eBay, Amazon, those days, you know. Yeah. How much were you making back doing, uh, you know, DirecTV, AT&T? You know, I've always had this good problem where whatever I made, I put back into the business, which yeah. is where we're at today too. So um, it's hard to say like what I profited, 
but you know, I made good enough money, you know, um, eventually we opened up stores. So overhead was there, you know, started racking up, uh, you know, uh, stores inside retail shopping centers next to, because our thing was we want to open up stores next to grocery stores. So, um, and they were in Orange County. So like, you know, now you're talking about rent, you're talking about employees, staffing, insurance.